Merci votre commande. Hello, you're watching RTD's English News Edition, the major stories. Djibouti and China's strategic partnership to strengthen the global cooperation. And in Asia, 235 people were killed in a mosque attack in Sinai Peninsula. Welcome to our newsroom. The President of the Republic, His Excellency Smail Mergele, has a spar of its three-day official visit to China at the invitation of Mr. Xi Jinping held today, Friday, an important working meeting with the Chinese Prime Minister. The consolidation of relations of friendship and cooperation between the two countries and the two peoples was at the heart of the discussions of this meeting. And very quickly, given the exemplary nature of the cooperation that has existed for several decades between the two countries, the talks quickly focused on defining the new impetus uh, to which we must dedicate dedicate the win-win collaboration that unites the two nations. This means that after remarkable success that has resulted in the close cooperation between the two countries in the field of building flagship development infrastructure, they are now thinking together about the initiation of partnerships likely to flow with the rapid notorious socially and financially. The establishment of new partnerships around the concept of creation of industries in Djibouti, a process able to act on the national problem of the fight against poverty and employment to a priority of the political program program of President Gilly was discussed at length during the working meeting between the Jibouti number one and the Chinese Prime Minister Mr. Muhammad Ali Yusuf. He is a member along with the Minister of Health Dr. Jamal Miyoki and the Minister to the Presidency in charge of investments Ali Gilly Abokar of the high uh, level delegation took part in this meeting. A ceremony honoring him on this planet of the great people's palace of Beijing. The head of state led a wreath on the temp of the unknown soldier in the famous Tiananmen Square in Beijing, it should be noted that the President of the Republic, His Excellency Smail Mergele, also visited Tianjin, one of the largest economic mega cities in China, where he will hold talks with executives at the head of important commercial, industri industrial, and financial companies. A high-level delegation, including, among others, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Mohamed Ali Yusuf, the Minister of Presidency in Charge of Investments, Ali Gale Abouker, the Minister of Health, the Jaime Omiyoki, accompanies the President of the Republic in this trip to China. The President of the Authority of Forest and Free Zones, Mr. Abouker Omar Hadi, is also part of the delegation led by President Gale in China. Invitation from his counterpart, the President of the Djibouti National Assembly, Mohamed Ali Hummed, traveled to Mogadishu, Somalia, for an official visit at the head of a strong delegation of parliamentarians to Somali President Mohamed Tisha Osman al Jawari. The President of the National Assembly is accompanied for this official visit by a strong delegation of Djibouti parliamentarians and senior executives of his cabinet. Mohamed Ali Hummed and his delegation were all welcomed on the tarmac of Aden Abdullah International Airport. A large crowd welcomed President Mohamed Ali Hamad and his delegation. 
all Somali parliamentarians and members of the Assembly's Bureau and its president, Mohammed Shah Osman Al Jawari, uh, were awaiting for the parliamentary delegation at Mogadishu Airport. Taking place in the launch of honor of the airport, His Excellency Mohammed Al Hamad and his counterpart had an official interview during which discussions were focused on the issues of common interest to both institutions and beyond between the two brother people. As the Speaker of the Somali Parliament welcomed the delegation of Jews in Parliament led by President Mohammed Ali Hamad, and he also said that Somalia is the second homeland for Jibusians. After the official reception at Mogadishu Airport, an extended meeting was held between the Jibusian parliamentary delegation and members of the parliament in the presence of two presidents of Jibusian and Somali parliaments. The discussions were focused on the ways and means to reinforce and consolidate the links of cooperation between the two parliamentarians and beyond uh, between uh, the Jibusian and Somali people. The Speaker of the Somali Parliament welcomed the delegation a second time saying that uh, the parliamentarians' visit is a motivation for Somali parliamentarians to redouble their efforts in the Somali Parliament. This meeting was an opportunity to discuss the threatening of the cooperation between the two brother parliaments. The Speaker of the Parliament thanked the government and the people for their continued solidarity with Somalia and forcefully President of Djibouti, Ismail Mergele, who has always supported Somalia for a return to the nation's concerts. In the same vein, the head of the National Assembly has conveyed the greetings and solidarity of the President Gele and the First Lady Khadra Mohamed Haid, who never stopped to work for peace and reconciliation of the Somali people. He added that the Djibouti Parliament will be on the side of the Somali Parliament in its efforts to set up the institutions. Still in the national news, under the auspices of the State Secretary for Youth and Sports, the Art of Peace Walk, has, as some have done, was held this morning in the region, the 11th of its kind in the country. The March for Peace is dedicated to the President of the Republic, Smail Margele, who is constantly working for regional and continental stability in the early morning hours of this Friday morning. The fog did not deter the influx of young and old to the city of Arta uh, to meet before the kickoff of the hiking. Uh, the sporting event saw the participation of uh, hundreds of rigorous and novices, uh, and it has noted the presence of several members of the government, parliamentarians, diplomats, civilians, and UN representatives, senior military officers, among the simple anonymous persons uh, gathered on the high of Arta. The first to be congratulated was the prefect of the region, Abdullah Diraroki, the senior official, who was pleased with the massive participation of hikers from various backgrounds. And let's recall that those, uh, in this, to, through this uh, highly symbolic sporting event of novices and hundreds of people came on a mess to, ha to highlight the Arta's hiking as over time growing success. Uh, this edition marks a crucial step in achieving the goals. One year, my first time to see all these people to come. It is a time to remember to live together in peace. This is a beautiful day. This is my first time, yeah, to do it. Uh, I've just arrived to Djibouti. I'm uh, at the, uh, I work at the Embassy of Egypt. I'm the deputy chief of mission, and of course, it's a beautiful uh, event for a very, very noble cause, and uh, I'm happy to be part of it. And I'm planning on coming again next time. Um, it's it's a very nice experience. It's new. It's to go hiking like this. It's uh, it was good, and it was very well organized. Uh, you have security and you have an ambulance and you have everybody's there. So uh, yeah, it was very nice. The Minister Delegate for Trade, Small and Medium Businesses, Crafts, Tourism and Formalization, Hassan Ibrahim Hamid, on a working visit to Egypt since November 20, 2017, uh, met today with his Egyptian counterpart in Cairo, Mr. Tara Kabila. During their meeting, the two men discussed ways and means to strengthen the bilateral relations between the two countries, and especially in the field of trade in small and medium enterprises. On the sidelines of his visit, the minister also spoke with a Egyptian businessman while inviting them to seize investment opportunities in Djibouti. At this meeting, the minister highlighted the major investment reforms undertaken by the government of Djibouti, which are now bearing fruit, and indeed, 
Following the Doing Business 2018 report, our country has gained 17 places and is now one of the top 10 most reforming countries in it thanks to the five reform implemented for the creation of a business, obtaining building permits, transfer of ownership, obtaining loans and protecting minority investors. The minister's mission ended with visits to Egyptian companies including the Cleopatra Ceramic Group, one of the world's largest manufacturers of ceramics, porcelain and sanitary wear and elsewhere the electric one of the largest companies in the world the largest energy solutions companies in the middle east and africa the secretary general of the main fab mr mohammed abdullah mahyub directed winners in november 23 the work of a meeting to launch the second edition of the grade school contests for the year 2017-2018 the meeting was attended by senior executives and managers of the main fab including the director general of education and CFF, Abdi Dirid Ekire and Aisha Farah Ekire, as well as many staff of the ecological supervisors and heads of institutions. The Secretary General of Men5 first paid tribute and praised the work of uh, the committees of organization of the first edition of the of the first year of this contest, which have uh, been successful and uh, favorably uh, received by the educational community and even the general public. Mr. Mohammed Abdullah Mahyub uh, took the opportunity to salute the work of the heads of institutions and all the organizers in the little hands that have allowed to the success of the first edition these uh, contests in the form of fun games also uh, have a major pedagogical interest in the project of improving the quality of public school in that they stimulate a healthy emulation among students and develop talents and skills and disciplines where some can excel as part of the fight against illegal immigration, the elements of the Gendarmerie of Dekhil Brigeria intercepted uh, with the support of the prefect of Dekhil region and led a vast uh, operation in this sense. This action led to the discovery in the Wadi Said Delale, uh, located north of the Cabra, more than 71 people, including a woman aged between 18 uh, to 30 years and uh, of Eth Ethiopian origin were arrested. Two Ethiopian smugglers will guide these people from Ethiopia and prepare them to travel to the Gulf countries by sea. In the afternoon of uh, yesterday, two to the immigrants uh, were uh, returned to their countries of origin from the border of Kalile. And on the regional scene now, at least 235 people have been killed and scores more injured in a bomb and gun assault on a mosque in Egypt's North Sinai. In one of the deadliest attacks in the country in recent memory, the attack uh, ma marks a major escalation in Cairo's battle with regional insurgents. Death toll reported by state media rose rapidly on the uh, Friday afternoon, as more details emerged, a bomb ripped through the mosque as Friday prayers were finishing. The militants in four of road vehicles approached and opened fire on worshippers, a military source told the Guardian. More than 50 impulses varied casualties from uh, Al Rauda Mosque in Bir al Abad, around 40 kilometers west of the city of Aris City, to the nearby uh, the hospitals. At least 130 people were injured. No group claimed responsibility for the assault, but it was the deadliest yet in the region where, for the past three years, Egyptian security forces have battled an Islamic State insurgent that have killed hundreds of police and soldiers. This is it. Thank you for your beloved attention. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.